I'm here on the campus of Butler University, home of the Bulldogs, to visit the two Bulldogs, Blue 2 and Blue 3, who have helped to make Butler Blue a household name. I'm here at Baumgartner Field on the campus of the University of Indianapolis, where number 9, Grand Valley State, just took the final game 3 to upset number 1, University of Indianapolis, 3-2, to two, to claim the Midwest Regional title and advance the Division 2 National Championship. Today marks the final day of an 8-game homestand for the Indianapolis Indians before they hit the road for another eight games. As fans start piling through the gates, filling the stadium for tonight's 7.05 first pitch, what most don't realize is all the work that goes on behind the scenes to make the game happen. And probably the biggest assumption, both teams are gonna have a ball to play with. Now I'm here with Grand Valley State Junior Brianna Taylor, who's credited with the game-winning RBI. In the sixth inning, Brianna Taylor hit a game-winning single to give Grand Valley State a 3-2 lead and an eventual 5-3 victory. I'll tell you after. At first relief, then, you know, we couldn't believe it. I mean, they were a good team, and they, they came back, and we knew they would come back, and they would put a run together. But, I mean, our coach showed us that we played a good game, and way to hold on. Um, it's, it's a learning process for them, but they really adapt well, and then once they do kind of figure it out, I mean, they, they really own it. Like, they're really great mascots. Although Blue 2 has retired, he remains with Kaltemark as a part of his family, while Blue 3 will carry on the Butler Blue tradition for years to come. Right now we have a, a pitching coach who during the, uh, the pitcher's warm-ups, when he's just in the bullpen, doesn't want to throw anything but brand new baseballs. And that's something we didn't have before. So once we caught on to that, it's like, okay, well, we're going to ramp up or of balls that get prepared each day. Uh, all, together, all together, each game we'll go through about 10 dozen baseballs uh, that get prepared and go through. And so over a 72 game regular season, you're looking at about 720 dozen, which equates to about a little more 8,600 individual baseballs. For the NSJC, I'm Lauren Ely.